you. Welcome, everyone. Uh, so I'm just kind of a guest host here. The main stars will come so shortly. Uh, so my name is Katerina. I'm from ECTA, which is a trade association of radio and TV broadcasters and sales houses. And we'll have two members um, of ECTA with us today. So just to explain, so in this session, we really wanted to spotlight some creative formats and innovations that can attract new types of advertisers uh, to radio and new types of sectors. Uh, so our two speakers will show some fantastic promotions and um, innovations and also uh, campaigns um, that are with some new types of clients or advertisers. So hopefully it will give you some ideas and inspiration uh, how to encourage a bigger spend from uh, yeah, some new type of clients. So our two uh, speakers will be Nina Fletcher, International Sales Director at Bauer Media Audio. So Nina oversees the cross uh, market sales across the nine markets where Bauer is present. And so she's really connecting the international advertisers with the listeners of the Bauer Media brand. So she brought us some uh, nice case studies from selection of the, of the countries. And joining her is Steve van den Odenarde from DPG Media Belgium, director of audio business and on demand. And so some of you may know that Belgium is actually one of the strongest radio market in Europe. They're one of the biggest uh, market shares and also great creativity. So again, Steve has brought some really uh, cool case studies that will show that radio can really entertain, surprise, and mainly deliver value for advertisers. So we'll take a Q&A at the very end. So if you think of a question, uh, save it for the end. And we'll start with Steve. So Steve, take it away. All right. Creativity is one of the last remaining legal ways of gaining an unfair advantage over competition. You don't have to be big. You can be small uh, and just with creativity overwin uh, new clients to come over to the radio station. And these three examples uh, show you how we do this. Now, DPG Media um, is only in three countries. Uh, Nina's in nine countries. So I'm like the, you know, the small actor for the major act. Um, we do have several media. You can see the radio stations on the left side. We have our own radio stations like Q Music, Willie and Joe. I will talk about a couple of cases from those. But we also represent other radio stations as a sales house. And then we have print business, uh, TV business as support, and also uh, digital. In the sales department, we have a team called Integrate. Now, the name is well chosen, I think. It's about integration and being great for advertisers. It's a business unit that, it's, that has three kind of people in there. There's salespeople, there are creative people, and then there's people that do the fulfillment that make that the whole action that we sell goes smoothly onto the radio stations and that the clients get feedback afterwards. Uh, we do that by sitting with the client to discuss about their strategy. Um, we create together with them or by ourselves the idea that we want to go to. Uh, we make the story about that idea and then go see which media channels we're going to use. What is, um, for the last couple of uh, years, very important is that we do integrate a lot of digital in there as well uh, with data, um, which is the part audiences that you see there. And then we go to hopefully a perfect execution and to a monitoring and a feedback to the client. First case is for Willie. Willie is a digital only radio station, which has recently a huge success. We had our audiences coming in uh, two months ago. Uh, it was uh, times uh, two and a half. We have a 3.7% market share in 1854, only being on DAB plus and streaming. Uh, with a rock station that is, uh, in French, they call it contrepoil, against uh, the hairs on your uh, arm. So it's not an easy uh, station. It's uh, mainly targeted towards a more manly audience because of uh, the music that we broadcast, because of the type of uh, broadcast that we have in digital. And so we have beers in there. I saw this morning that we had great beers, and it's true, in Czechia. Uh, we try to do as, as well as they do with our Belgian beers. And in a saturated market, it's very hard to launch beers. A saturated market means in Belgium, the last two years, we had 1,000 beers being launched. It's incredible. So you have to stand out. And the briefing is, here is from the client that asked us, how can you support us for people getting to know this beer that is made with little chips of wood, oak wood, that are smoked and are in the brewing process. It's called Cornet, which is typical, is that you get a glass with every beer in Belgium. Um, so uh, I have two of them with you. I have one of those for somebody in the audience afterwards. But let's look at the case first. Um, the case itself will explain it.
beste songs van Deep Purple live on stage. Luister deze week naar Willy en win een exclusief duo ticket. A promotion going on for about 15 days, people having to uh, get their tickets on the website of the radio station. It was a huge success and the client was uh, very content. Why is this important? It's a music radio station, Music Matters is the baseline, so there's the link between what we did with a song that was just 50 years old, uh, you know about the Montreux Festival with the smoke on the water, something burning there. So that's Corner Smoked. Uh, by the way, there is somebody sitting over there somewhere, there's a little cart underneath a chair, the one that has that little cart, it says Stella Artois. I'm very sorry, gets the glass and the beer that's up here. <laughs> you have Joe. Joe is our uh, number two radio station in Belgium on 1854. It's been growing as well the last uh, couple of years. It's an adult station targeting especially 40 plus year olds. Um, and we did something really particular with a client that has a hard time communicating because what they sell is something that you need but you don't want because it's an insurance for your death. When you pass away, they pay for your funeral. So it's hard to communicate. Um, the slogan says it's you're unforgettable but not immortal. And they had a campaign running on one of our magazines. And then we thought, let's get this campaign extra, extra large. Let's make it better with other media. And we thought about music again. It's a music station. Um, we play a lot of uh, songs from people that are not there anymore, like Prince and some others that you see over there. And so we linked uh, the theme to uh, music with Della, uh, using our on-air personalities that were used in uh, what you're going to see in the video, uh, the magazine stuff. Um, and at All Saints Day in November, uh, we have um, a period where we only play songs from people that passed away. Um, heavenly heroes and so in that period we communicate a lot with Della around what they do and that works really well and this is an award-winning case this is a case movie the passing of a loved one is never easy to talk about Della the specialist in funeral assistance and insurance wanted to help the Belgian population say farewell and break the taboo surrounding death a creative partnership with DPG media did just that Using Belgium's most popular media channels, the difficult topic of loss became a national conversation. In the soap opera, Family, we introduced this topic in the script in a subtle way. Benny, a character played by actor Ruhl van der Stuke, was hesitant to sign the will of his father. Ruhl shared his personal experiences with loss and his view on what happened in Family with the reader in native content. On hln.be, 10 articles addressed the issue and gave tips about dealing with grief, touching on topics such as offering condolences and how to talk about loss with children. Online and in print, Belgian influencers shared their personal experiences and funeral wishes. Further, we created a supplement for weekly showbiz magazine Dag Alamal or Hello Everyone. We called it Salut Alamal or Goodbye Everyone with open-hearted interviews about how to care for the ashes of your loved ones, how to dress appropriately for a funeral, and more. The magazine also featured an editorial piece with Raf and Heidi, hosts of Himmelse Helden, or Heavenly Heroes, an exclusive radio show on Joe with legendary songs of artists who had passed away. To announce this unique radio show, Raf and Heidi created a song. Dat is pech, daar mag je zeker van zijn. Maar ze komen terug, en dat een dag lang bij Joe. The video of the song was claimed by Dela through bannering and tagons. During the show, Raf and Heidi talked about grief and interviewed a representative of Dela, giving listeners valuable information about loss. Classic radio ads and tagons reinforced this partnership. Dela was excited about the idea from the start. Shortly after the briefing, Integrate came up with interesting cross-media proposals. Everything just fit together. The results proved that beautifully. And what were those results? More than four out of ten Joe listeners tuned into Himmelse Helden. 
Native articles generated up to 28,000 page views per article. After hearing the radio spot, no less than 78% considered Dela the preferred partner for their funeral. The campaign had a positive impact on Dela's brand image. Before, 45% of the audience considered them as reliable funeral experts in Belgium. After hearing and reading more, this number had increased to 70%. To them, Dela stands for a trustworthy, warm-hearted and reliable service. But most importantly, Dela and DPG Media got people talking about a sensitive topic. Before the campaign, 33% of the audience had already been thinking about their way of saying goodbye. Afterwards, 59% started to reflect on their funeral. There are plenty more results to share, but the most important objective obtained was that we reached the Belgian population through smart, integrated use of different media, breaking a major taboo about grief and loss. So a huge campaign for a very difficult uh, subject that was uh, really popular. It was unforgettable, immortal. Uh, just as a, a client we talked about for Willie, also this client is always coming back like uh, last year. Uh, on the website of Joe, uh, people could plant a tree for somebody they uh, lost and they loved with a, a song that they wanted to play on the radio. So you can do stuff on the radio station around these kind of uh, things. The last one is from our biggest radio station. It's the number one in Belgium. It's also a number one in the Netherlands, Q Music. 1854. Um, they do like these big things like, you know, the ice cube where you get a key for a car and then you win a porch or something. That was like years ago. But there's like these big promotions. We gave seven cars away in one morning drive and we wanted to do better. And this is about how can we do this better with a client coming on to the radio station. And then now over to my personal favorite medium, radio. Voor de volgende wedstrijdvraag schakelen we over naar mijn collega's in de Q-studio. Maar wat is er daar nu net aan het handje? Oh, Dank je wel. Hoeveel keer heb je gebeld? 1338 keer in een voltijdse job. Ik heb twee bijjob en ik kom net rond. Dus het is ongelooflijk. Ja, dat verandert mijn leven gewoon helemaal. Okay, so big emotions, but what's going on? What did we do to get somebody calling into the station in one morning 1,337 times? De waanzin in de Q-studio waar jullie net getuigen van waren, is te danken aan de gigantische actie die we hebben gedaan samen met Blocks. In de ochtendshow van Maarten en Dorothee werd een bitcoin weggegeven aan elke beller die binnengeraakte in de studio. Wat leidde tot complete gekte. Q-Music kreeg maar liefst 7,4 miljoen oproepen en een van de winnaressen, Annika, heeft maar liefst 1338 keer gebeld om binnen te geraken. Kijk maar mee. Bijna 7,5 miljoen telefoontjes zijn er vanmorgen gedaan naar onze radiozender Q-Music door honderdduizenden mensen die probeerden live binnen te geraken in de ochtendshow van Maarten en Dorothee. Waarom ze dat zo graag wilden? Elke beller die binnengeraakte won een bitcoin. En die is toch nog altijd zo'n 20.000 euro waard. Ik heb de bitcoin gewonnen! Ja! Ja! Onze lading van morgen op radiozender Q-Music. Elke beller die tussen 7 en 9 uur live op de radio kwam, won een bitcoin. Een actie van de ochtenddj's Maarten en Dorothee. Okay, so we needed a client, we needed a lot of money to pay for this, and we didn't want to put up the, for the money ourselves and uh, keep some. And so you have this uh, Dutch platform that uh, goes into cryptocurrencies, Blocks, who was our partner on this one. They didn't do anything uh, in above media, only digital media. So it was a huge campaign for them, and it also was a huge campaign for us with this as a visual that came uh, along everywhere with uh, TV supporting it, and this is the TV commercial. Maarten and Dorothee go crypto, want elke beller wint een bitcoin. Een bitcoin? Hoeveel is dat waard? Even kijken in de Blocks app. Wow. Bel, kom live in de ochtendshow en win een bitcoin. You. Sounds better with you. In samenwerking met Blocks. 
So it went on for 15 days. We uh, wanted to launch it the time before, but then the Bitcoin was going down, down, down. So we said, no, we're not going to do it now. Uh, so we did it later in the year. Uh, with Blocks, they were very happy with this. You know, they came on the website. Uh, it was going viral. We had a lot of uh, news from uh, even competing media talking about it. We explained how Bitcoin works on the air. We made videos about it. So it was, you know, a whole setup. Uh, and this was really amazing. 7.4 million calls. By the way, when we gave the cars away, the seven cars in the morning, um, our national telco operator, Proximus, they had a breakdown because all of it came down at once. So we talked to them before we did this one. Um, so you had three uh, cases. Um, what the, the main thing is with radio, you can have a strong presence in a very small period of time, and we make the brands part of the show. Uh, radio is very accessible. Um, I have to say that we choose our uh, promotions. There's a lot of people coming to us because they know that we can do this kind of stuff, but we refuse uh, things also because it doesn't fit the brand. Uh, but when it works, we consider them to be part of our programming as a friend. Um, three things, you have the outside in, the first case, that was a briefing we took for the beer. Um, the inside out, the blocks case, where we go like, okay, we have this great idea, where can we find the money and the partners to go with it? And then, and I think there's a lot of money in those, uh, what do brands do elsewhere and how can radio enhance that? And that was an example that we had with Joe and uh, Della. So if you do that good, uh, you can go to amazing results. Um, for those in the room that only have radio and not the supporting media to go with it as we do, well, use your barter media. Um, and if a newspaper that supports you wins 20% uh, on that because your advertiser is on their medium, that's okay because it's you know supports your medium as well. So doing that maximizes impact. Thank you, creativity. Just go for it. Right. Thank you very much, Steve. That was um, amazing. Very creative campaigns. Just shows that size doesn't matter. You know, size has no impact on creativity, clearly. And plus, um, I'm afraid I don't have any beer to give away. So thanks for that, Steve, for not teaching me how to do this. <laughs> anyway, hello, everybody. I'm Nina Fletcher, and I'm the International Sales Director with Bauer Media. I'm based in lovely, sunny London. And if you happen to miss my bosses, Richard Dawkins, rousing keynote this morning, just a quick rundown of Bauer Media. We already heard we are in nine countries. So we reach um, 61 million eager listeners every week. And um, we are Europe's largest digital commercial radio and audio operator. We are across UK, Ireland, Poland, Slovakia, Denmark, Sweden, Finland, Norway, and most recently, Portugal. But of course, I'm not here to talk about Bauer Media Audio and how great we are, but it's all about inspiring creativity. So um, I only have about 15 minutes to share some truly inspiring examples of creative commercial campaigns with you. And my hope is really that you leave here today feeling energized by the boundless potential of creativity and radio advertising. And of course, it's impossible to cover all nine countries in this limited time. So I've handpicked diverse campaigns from FMCG, retail, digital first, and charity advertisers across five countries. And um, it's really the creativity at the heart of those that then can be used across all sorts of advertisers, traditional or non-traditional. So diving straight in with Norway. So with that delightful coffee brand, Ali Coffee, Cafe, and this example really beautifully showcases radio's power to connect with listeners and create heartwarming prices experiences that deepen their bond with our brands while delivering phenomenal results for our advertising clients. And Ali Cafe tasked us with developing a campaign that provided listeners with a better start to match their brand claim. We whipped up a fun competition that allowed us to broadcast live from our listeners' homes, surprising them with breakfast in bed, calling their bosses for an extra hour off in the morning, or even giving their kids a free ride to school. So check out this video to get a taste of the campaign's magic. How could the best way to come to school in Barnaga, Gitta Boys? 
Jeg vet ikke. Nej, vet du, det er et vanskelig spørsmål. Vi er beskjedne karer, Lovett. Det er ikke sikkert at det går på jul. Åh, oh, hør den lyden da. Hva er det for noe? Et helikopter. Ja, hadde det vært ordentlig å fly helikopter til skolen da? Ja, men da må dere bare ta på dere sko og jakkegutta, for nå bærer oss det til skole og barnehage. Hallo, har vi piloten med oss? Ja, det er kjempebra. Da er det bare å lande. Gutta er klare å få straksir. Be sure contact with the chopper. Thank you. I just love a bit of happy tears as part of our radio campaigns. So over to Finland, our colleagues have cooked up an amazing audio branding business that complements their radio sales department. It benefits our existing customers and introduces inexperienced advertisers to the world of audio. Our audio branding solutions elevate our customers' advertising activities, provide, proving the effectiveness of audio and fostering loyalty with Bauer while increasing their audio ad investment. It's a win, win, win. So take a look at this fantastic example from Finnish retail chain Puilo, I'm trying to say this right, whose audio identity was crafted by Bauer Finland. Puilo listed in uh, Nasdaq Helsinki in 2021 using only their radio campaign and sound identity. And won awards as well. Well, next up, Portugal. Our sunny Portugal, newest and fiercely passionate family members, one of which sits um, right there in the audience. Thank you very much for your support, Pedro. So our station, Radio Comercial, celebrated their 43rd anniversary last year, and their office was, as you will see, in dire need of a makeover. We partnered with IKEA and their corporate service to surprise our staff with a complete office revamp. The entire process was documented on air and online, and IKEA reaped the rewards of valuable media exposure. And the stunning end results even made it into their catalog on their website, other communications. Talk about a truly immersive partnership. So here's um, a little video of our team's reactions during the big reveal of the new office.
now back home to the UK, I'd like to share a brilliant example that demonstrates how authenticity and commitment to a partnership across all platforms can yield amazing results. And similar to my dear colleague from um, DPG, we also have um, publishing brands in the UK with Grazia and Empire, for example, also play a part in this. So don't be surprised if you see some of that in here. But um, this is a wrap-up video that was prepared for our Disney Plus client. And spanning three years now, this partnership has become our largest commercial creative partnership in the UK. Its success really lies in the authentic fit with our brand ambassadors and the mutual trust and respect at the heart of it all. final season of The Walking Dead is now available to basically stream on Star on Disney Plus. It's a man on Absolute Radio with Disney Plus. Make sure you listen out again tomorrow morning to Magic Breakfast to win with Disney Plus. If you've got nothing to do today between four and six, can I suggest you tune into Magic uh, for my new show, all thanks to Disney Plus. We're chatting all things Mandalorian. I'm actually beyond gas for WandaVision tonight. On your left, brand new show, WandaVision, which is streaming right now. So you may have heard it by now, but Disney Plus are about to drop Star. They've got so many new shows, so many films. Jordan has a huge fear of zombies. I can't do it. I can't do The mean? zombie hand is making me feel ill. to focus on Absolute Radio 60s because it is all Beatles all day. Yes. Thanks to brand new and one of the most talked about docu-series in history, Get Back on Disney Plus. You're listening to a special episode of the Empire Podcast in association with Disney Plus and the new show, Dope Sick. This episode is dedicated to their new original series, The Dropout. Radio.co.uk, you could win the ultimate 90s throwback prize. Oh, check out our history approved 90s playlist to get you in the mood for the first three episodes of Pam and Tommy streaming on Wednesday on Disney Plus. For another chance to win with Disney Plus, head online to magicradio.co.uk and don't miss Disney and Pixar's Turning Red. It's streaming today on Disney Plus. It's really long, this video, but there is so much in it, and I already shortened it. So um, it's just a great case. We are obviously very proud of it. So over to our last stop, Sunny Island, for a digital audio case with feel-good factor, courtesy of our digital audio network, AudioXI, and UNICEF. So this campaign demonstrates the power of digital audio in driving positive change. AudioXI handled everything from ideation to production in-house, and I'm really happy to report that this campaign won a Digital Media Award in 2022 for Best Technology Innovation, and it is up for an Irish Audio Award for Best Innovation this Thursday, too. I'm sure we win. 
So here you go. life support and time is running out. They've been damaged or destroyed and maternity wards once a beacon of hope and new life now lie in ruins. You can shake your phone now to help UNICEF support a hospital in Ukraine by providing essential medical supplies such as oxygen, surgery kits and other life-saving equipment. Your donation can help. Shake your phone now to donate. Or go to unicef.ie slash donate slash Ukraine. Thank you. To the Minister for Finance, uh, to at a minimum. And there you have it. I hope that Steve and I managed to inspire inspire you and um, there's really huge creative potential in radio obviously as you can see we had lots of cases here there's so many more and it's really hard to pick but um, I think we might have a few minutes left for questions if we don't Steve and I are both around I think Steve are you <laughs> you do yeah or oh, email me so yeah we have five more minutes I will invite Steve and Nina to maybe sit with us and uh, do we have any questions from the room I'm looking around. If not, then I will ask you a question. Can we have a microphone, please? For so maybe question to both. So we heard some kind of new types of advertisers like Disney Plus streamers and things. Are there some other new sectors or advertisers that you've seen on radio recently that you could mention? So maybe as an inspiration for clients, for, for people. So question to both. <laughs> I mean, we've seen not necessarily sectors, but just advertisers who have come from you know places like TV or digital who mm. have made a move. And it's not necessarily because we reinvented radio or we yeah. gave them something completely new, but it's just because we really showed them very mm. detailed what it can do for them. Mm -hmm. And even if it's just a, a you know a sponsorship of a breakfast show, you know, yeah. and that that really. Um, that really worked to get some major advertising spend okay. converted from digital and TV. Okay. Yeah, you were using uh, podcasts to have smaller uh, clients coming in, and then we support that on radio, but it costs some of that money. Mm -hmm. And there's two uh, sectors that we focus on, which is uh, direct to consumer mm -hmm. and FMCG, which are really hard for radio. Mm -hmm. So we try to get them in with uh, creativity. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay, that's great. And so then for Steve, maybe for you as well. So you said, okay, with the car, it was a great success. You broke all the lines with the Bitcoin even better. So what, what's next now? I, I, can, you ex can you tell that, us what's next? That is a very good question. But are we going to do this kind of stuff? Uh, yeah, because we see it in our audience numbers. They always go up when we do this. So yes, we're looking for the next big thing. Um, yeah. But I can't share it with you. Yeah. It's a secret, okay. <laughs> Uh, by the way, any questions from the room? I don't want to take up all the time if someone has a question. Uh, so maybe for Nina, so we, we heard from Steve that they have the Integrate uh, department, which kind of deals with these creative partnerships within Bauer. Is it usually, do you also have these kind of special departments or is it a cross department thing or how do you, how do you put these in, uh, into place? Actually? I mean, generally, collaboration needs to be at the heart of everything to really get a great campaign off. I mean, you saw with Disney how embedded yeah. the programming is in this and I think that, that really needs to be the key of it all. Obviously, we have specialists across everything, but the collaboration is at the heart, and we work so across it's departments. Across departments yes. Altogether. All right, I think, yeah. I'm Just one little, uh, yeah, we have to one little thing. Out, There's so still a beer there. Uh, and there is a little here. cart underneath one yeah. of those chairs in that area. 
Yeah, who wants It's an 8.5 beer. beer. So look. if you drink it this evening, you will be really tipsy before going out. So look under your chairs. If there is a card, you will get a beer. Uh, anyway, thank you very much. Uh, just to mention that ECTA really promotes the power of radio and creative cases. So we collect them, these kind of cases, put them on our website. So if you can check out ecta.com, you can find more inspiration. And now lunch, I believe, or...